Thank you so much for watching this podcast or listening to it if you're on Spotify. And speaking of Spotify, we have another show called Midnight Special. We do. Um, we are on Spotify and we are on YouTube. We come out with two podcasts here on YouTube and one podcast that's audio only exclusive on Spotify each and every week. Week. Yes, we are every week. Every week. For you. Yes. So subscribe, please. If you find value or entertainment in our topics and conversations or our dynamic or really anything, um we are here to entertain you. And if there's a topic you want us to talk about, please let us know because we are more than willing yeah. to give you, the people, what you want. What is your thought on Rick and Morty? Um, well, I think we should talk about our first reactions to Rick and Morty. <laughs> Rick and Mor... Wait, I just asked you. No, you I said, what are my thoughts? Yeah. Well, my first reaction is different than my thoughts. Okay. Isn't it basically the same thing? I suppose. Um, my thoughts and first reactions to Rick and Morty was I I had known about it for a while. Everybody seemed to love the show. And so I was like, I should give it a shot. I should watch it. I might like it. And boy, was I correct. Because I was watching this episode <laughs> the other day, and it was about Glorzo. You weren't watching it. <laughs> Dad, I'm trying to make it look, seem natural. <laughs> no. You, we well, gotta be more natural. <laughs> you're I not was, gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and let you lie to the people. Our our small audience, and you're just gonna lie to them. Watching this, we're honest the here. Day. At least I am. I'm here to hold down and police the honesty. What was the episode about, Joshua? Because I watched it. No, you watched a video on it. A video I told you you <laughs> should watch. We have not seen any of season four yet. We've seen one, two, and three, but not season four because it's not on Hulu yet. Cheap people. Yeah, we are cheap. You are very cheap. Um, please don't give me that, man. You're the one who, who listen. You're the one who watches my Hulu <laughs> <laughs> and my, own, my Netflix. I don't even have my own account. <laughs> you don't. You don't pay for it either. Um, so my reaction to Rick and Morty is obviously it's very crude. It's an adult cartoon. There are a lot of insinuations. It's also very funny. It's very funny. There are a lot of really, really high quality humor in that show. Mm -hmm. There's there's a lot of high quality humor. What are your thoughts about it? I'm not super into it because I I watch it, but I'm not like my first go to Rick and Morty type of thing. <laughs> um, you're the one who introduced me to Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. But it is very. You have to, it is a cartoon, but it's so like, the storyline is just, you have to be smart to understand most of No, you episodes. don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to, to get the deeper <laughs> that's a, meaning. No, that's a, well, you can analyze it, and they do have overarching themes of the show, of each episode, mm -hmm. but the base level, it's not like a super intelligent show. It's meant to feel that way, but the, also the humor is behind people who think they're smart because they find it funny it's not it's just silly i mean yeah <laughs> you seem so unenthusiastic about <laughs> rick and morty i mean it's depressing me so do you want to talk about it yes okay let's talk about it okay you talked about i, I said that the reason why joshua has no energy is because i came up with this idea <laughs> and well, i <laughs> i have what we're going to lead into all right Go ahead. Give give me your thoughts. Explain explain what we're talking about then. There, were, you wanted to talk about one specific episode from season four that we haven't seen yet, but we saw a video explaining the episode in a way about the idea of the philosophy. Progress. Yeah, the philosophy behind that that episode kind of deconstructed the whole kind of idea of this episode was is going forward with how we like evolve as humans and progress yeah just progress is it good or is it bad yeah and um well it was the glorzo or uh Gor gorzo episode or whatever i i have like i said i haven't seen it myself but i kind of get this premise from the video that we watched of someone talking about it on yeah. youtube um yeah, there, there's a, there was a, a theme in that episode, from what I understand, about how 
there's these aliens that are controlling Rick and Morty's mind. Mm -hmm. um, and these aliens are interacting with each other through the bodies of Rick and Morty. And so, spoilers, I guess, if you watch Rick and Morty. Um, but one of the aliens, one of the people that's controlling Morty is all about progress, all about moving forward, all about, you know, their species as mm -hmm. alien that control the bodies of other creatures and they live vicariously through those bodies um progress is important progress is all that there is to live for and progress is all that is really the meaning of the species and just moving forward and then the one that controls rick is actually more about nature and is more about you know we don't have to have progress we're just we're just one and just a part of you know nature and it's more about the experience of living in the world and living naturally and not needing progress but finding fulfillment outside of that. And it's a weird dynamic, but this guy, um, he's the, I can't remember his name, but he's the guy who does film theory. Mm -hmm. um, he, he explains it in a really cool way where he talks about, you know, the downsides and the pros of living more naturally and then he talks about the pros and cons of living with progress and then he kind of ends it with the overarching theme of what the episode brought what the message of it was was that what's the purpose of progress because living naturally is not always the best living naturally is not always the um the most you know helpful in all circumstances yeah. you know it doesn't solve everyone's problems um and there's evidence to kind of in some in certain situations there's evidence to the opposite of that you know mm -hmm. and but then you also get in the idea of progress and why is that important and if we apply it to ourselves we apply it to what we do here why we're starting a yeah. company what we're doing here with this podcast what is the purpose if we have a goal of saying we want to be entertainers we want to make films we want to have this podcast so we can talk about conversations like this and we can have more of a direct communication with other people who might see our films and yeah. at least be able to extend the hand enough for people to feel like they understand us and the company we're getting started which is a bit different mm -hmm. than what we see in the entertainment film world today um that's the goal of this but when it when we break everything down you know progress is important but when we break everything down there's not really a purpose to progress unless you have a purpose behind that progress yeah and it definitely. has to be noble at least mm -hmm. it has to have meaning and it has to have something that's worth doing you know ultimately you can say oh i want to be rich well then once you get rich what then now you're rich you can pass some money onto your kids maybe. You can spend it mm -hmm. all. You can go on trips. Yeah, but ultimately, we it's still the same world. It's still the same species of animals and people. It's still the same everything. Um, and then there's obviously things that you find meaning outside of that, like religion or, you know, I don't know, a calling of some sort if you're not religious in any way. And so Midrash will happen to be religious. And so, or Christians, uh, religious is kind of a, a strange word. It, yeah, it's a very broad term. But um, So we find meaning out of that. But mm -hmm. even to the extent of talking about just humans in general, whether you're religious or not, what's the purpose of us trying to start a company? What is the what's something that's more noble than just progress for the sake of progress? You know, because someone in society or there's a construct that says you have to work and you have to try to ha be successful. Well, yeah. yeah, it might make life easier, but what's really the purpose? You yeah. know what I mean? Um, what are your thoughts? I think I, I would agree with everything you're saying th that we have to have a purpose um, outside of just saying we're going to do something you know what's the mm -hmm. end goal you have to have a goal to do that and what motivates of, you that thinks that yeah this is all worth it for you because it's going to be different for each of us yeah. we're our own people yeah why why put in all the work to get money to do what you know what i mean and that 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 can sometimes yeah. be a daunting question and i know i'm, I'm pushing but it's like we're all humans. We're all in the same weird life. What? What's the point? 
the point for me why put in the work pretty much you know is to better myself and do something that i enjoy Mm -hmm. rather than just clock in and clock out of a Mm -hmm. shift make money to create a company that actually has um something behind it that i created because i i want to do this and create something that's that's good and that can actually create yeah um films anything i want basically yeah you're looking for freedom with your career yeah um the, the, you value and the ability to create yeah so you're pretty much saying like if i have to do a career if yeah. i have to make money then i want to i want to do it in a way that i have freedom and have creativity yeah. liberties you know and that's kind of is that your would you say that's your motivation i would say that's the very surface level yeah well you can go you can go a layer deeper if you want <laughs> <laughs> if, if not i'll go but well i, I want to kind of touch on something else that i wanted to talk about can we go into that yet mm, let's let's stay on this for just a minute longer. okay then you go with what you want to say <laughs> well don't sit back and act like you're not interested anymore because we're not moving on yet sit back or relax <laughs> okay well Kick up my feet this is something when i was younger i was like okay i want to do films i want to make movies i figured that out pretty early on I figured i really enjoy creativity leave your mic on the table boy <laughs> Um, I wanted to be creative. I really enjoy having a creative outlet. Then I was like, I want, I'm I, entrepreneur minded. I want to have that freedom, that mm-hmm. liberty and financial freedom for myself and my family. Um, but recently it's been kind of like what, although those are important and supporting a family or at least doing everything I can to make a family comfortable, there's no telling like, if that's going to lead to anything good. You know what I mean? There's plenty of examples of, you know, kids who are spoiled their whole life. They're given everything. They don't turn out great, you know? It's an individual basis decision. Yeah. And I can't control what other people do. So something that, that's always been on my mind, to something that's one of my biggest motivations with this, is starting the company for the sake of and like we said, progress for progress's sake, but it's not for the sake of progress. It's for the sake of moving forward to make the American culture, capitalism, to make uh, the world that we live in, the world that I can affect with my own hands, more better and higher quality for other people. Yeah, which brings me to an interesting topic. I was listening to podcast Joe Rogan, Mm -hmm. and he had... Elon Musk on his podcast this mm-hmm. was kind of recently he Elon Musk has was talking about he he's a multimillionaire billionaire mm-hmm. he has a lot of money yeah because he has so many companies people in um buy his stuff but he he's a very quirky dude yeah he he was saying that even though he has a lot of money he doesn't want to buy like a house or build a nice house so he has sold all his stuff yeah. Except for like one house just to live in. Because he said it was taking up too much of his time. He wants to spend all his time on creating something just for the future. Um, with that like SpaceX mm-hmm. or this other project that he's working on. That is, he's trying to create a brain chip. A brain chip that what you do is do they just make a small cut in the back of your head. In your skull, man. And then take out a chunk of skull, put it into your brain, and then sew it back up, basically. And they can take that chip and download things to your brain, like a computer. He said that... He he, says he thinks it'll work. He thinks it'll work, and he thinks, like, you could learn a different language, like, instantaneously. Like, you just download... You have the software to learn a different language. Or you can reverse... um, You can halt and reverse things like Alzheimer's. Um, that you can, you know, communicate with people yeah. without having to speak. You know yeah. what I mean? Crazy stuff like that. That's essentially the <laughs> Joe Rogan talks about crazy stuff, mm-hmm. man. He's very odd person. He he has some crazy conversations, but it's it's such an interesting idea 
it's a scary idea mm -hmm. to think about that much progress yeah. and to be like, what is that going to make the world like? Yeah. But, you know, what what is that going to turn people into? What is that going to, I mean, Elon Musk talks about how he does it because he's afraid. Oh, he's saying it's inevitable that AI is going to take over the world. Um, yeah, super also, intelligence, super um, artificial intelligence going is going to take over you everything. Saying, and you, you have to progress with that. I think we should go back a step because we're kind of going forward. We're not okay. Go ahead. Go take a step back in how why he he just sold all his stuff. Okay. To because he wants to focus on creating something for the future. He said yeah. it was taking up too much time of his time, just worried about a house. Mm -hmm. He said he has a mind and he values his mind so much that he doesn't want to waste it. Just building a house mm -hmm. and the way he views that is just it's crazy i think it's beautiful mm -hmm. that there, there was a while where i was thinking very much about um I, this is kind of something i think it's healthy for everyone to think about but what kind of legacy they're going to leave mm. um because obviously we don't live forever we have limited time and so you have to try to make the most of your time whether selfishly for other people or however you want to view it you're you're kind of in control of how you live your life. And so so that what kind of legacy has always been like very physical for a while, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and in the past couple years, uh, it's there's always been this motivation, but like almost the physical aspects of my motivations and my passions and ideas and thoughts have all have kind of dwindled, you know? The the physical side of it the the only reason I used to think like okay I I want to have a, a company that makes tons of money and I can we can do all this cool stuff with all this money and that's fine but there's there's an aspect of it <coughs> excuse me there's an aspect of it where I'm thinking more along the lines of okay how do I use the money for the betterment of people and like I was saying going back to earlier when I was saying that how do I affect capitalistic culture the American culture in a way that's positive um, you know there, there are things that I think starting a business is good because you directly affect some like 80% of your employees life mm -hmm. you know unless you can and that's the thing unless you can decide my company's not going to dictate as much time so they have more time with their friends and their family and they can you know go on trips and have a life outside of work so it's not like a nine to five it's more like a a nine to three you know seven six hours of a day a work week or in a week you know instead of eight hours a day those are kind of things and then also being able to pay them more than what just the standard pay for that job requires in the states you know mm. being ahead of the curve and saying okay we don't need ideas of socialism we don't need ideas of you know these crazy communistic ideas we only need good people mm -hmm. in a capitalistic world a capitalistic nation we need good people who are leading the way for the next generation and that's something i want to be a part of that's something that i think it's more valuable to start a company and work towards something like that to at least give it a shot you know yeah. at the chance of having to do that for yourself, but then be able to do that for countless others, depending on how successful the company is. And that's what I that's 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 what's changed in my mind. It's not so much like progress, so we can get a big building, so people can drive by the building, and be like, "That's a cool company. They're a successful company. Our stock's really high, and everything." You know, it's more about how is this company affecting the nation, and especially the people that work for the company, and then also the the cows that since we want to do entertainment make films how are we affecting the lives of people who consume our entertainment yeah and not not because we're trying to control them or send messages of any kind of personal gain but or personal conviction that other people might not share but actually how do we care about what we're making you know instead of just trying to make awesome trailers or really market something to the point that it's exhausting and then someone watches it after they spend 20 bucks for a ticket and then they don't even enjoy it because they felt like they were baited into watching it you know 
do, having entertainment that respects the viewers, respects the audience. What yeah. are your thoughts on all that I just said? Yeah. Um, I, I, I think we should go back to talking about Rick and Morty again because we kind of had <laughs> tying it back to the... We've, we've trailed off into a... Um, oh, we've been all over trip. on this podcast. So I feel going, like we didn't going back communicate to, enough before we started. Going back to just progress. Mm -hmm. Maybe not for just this company, just progress in general. Mm -hmm. And good and bad progress. And the episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what you're saying. I, I, Say I, what you're saying. I don't know. Just okay. Go back to what progress for progress's sake is something that I think is not necessarily yeah. healthy. And that I think that's what Rick and Morty's pointing out. Yeah, and but it it is good to have progress. It's good to have progress with the right intentions. Yeah. <clears throat> that's why I asked you about it. That's why I gave a big long freaking monologue about what my intention are is because I think we should be upfront about that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think we can show people what our generation thinks of what progress should look like what our generation maybe we can inspire someone else to do something similar and m have progress progress is happening whether we like it or not it's how do we utilize that progress for the betterment of other people and not mm -hmm. just for progress's sake not just to make another fancy iphone and not just to get the newest you know crazy car that drives itself and can do everything and better that a human can do speaking of cars that drive themselves elon musk with his yeah. brain chip you know it, those kind of things are coming down the pipeline whether they're successful or not progress is happening on some level and i think it's so important that we got to be people focused in the in the the headlights of this yeah. progress and create progress for with a good attitude and the right mindset rather yeah, than help just progress. creating progress. Exactly. And so that's progress why benefit we're doing benefits it. us yeah. and we utilize it for the betterment of us as a species, as humans, as if you believe in God, the creation of God, you know? Yeah. That's that's the purpose of the progress and not the opposite where we're just at the hands of the next new thing, the next progress machine or, you know, Whatever else Elon Musk I feel like thinks, we're at this point just rambling on, or you're rambling on. I'm I feel like I have a lot to say, and I'm not great at communicating it this episode. But if this was just an episode that rambles on, I hope we communicated something at least. I feel like I communicated something. So what are we at? Time? I think we should end it. We're over 20 minutes. So all right, we'll we'll end it slowly. Um, if you guys like the podcast, yeah. <laughs> um, we're wanting to make another film. Yeah. So, we have another channel, <laughs> Wiseworks Entertainment, yeah. that has right now only one short film on it, very short, but with the way that's the channel we're going to be putting our films on from now on, because we're trying to split our stuff up a little bit. Absolutely. Um, so, up to this point, all, yeah. the, all the short films are on this channel. We have a channel, Wiseworks Podcast. Which is this one. Wiseworks Entertainment. Which was... The old version of this one, <laughs> and then, but now we made a new one called Wiseworks Entertainment that hasn't we haven't announced yet because we haven't come up with the video. We but haven't released. We're gonna have three it. channels. Yeah, we're working so, towards having a glory system of three channels that has different style because podcast likes well, not podcast YouTube likes that a channel is built around a specific show yeah. instead of just a tons of random content. So we're trying to form that. We're playing the long game as best we know so in this world of YouTube. Go to those channels and, and subscribe. Well, you if you search WiseWorks Entertainment, go subscribe there. That is, you'll find one video that's only like a minute long. It's like a Star yeah. Wars little effect video thing um, but whenever we come out with something you'll be already subscribed and, and you'll be able to see what we come out with and we'll be talking about it on this podcast so yeah. just be listening and watching out for stuff yeah so, really the, that time well I was just gonna say like I was saying with three channels <laughs> the best thing to do is to subscribe to all three so you see all of our content but yeah. we'll let you know when we come out with content on the third channel so until next time or until the next film, or until the next 
creative project, which will probably be we soon, are making nerds out of you. They're geeks, man. We're making geeks We want to make geeks out of you. <laughs> so... Have a good day. The end of this is falling apart. I was Thank trying you. to go smoothly into this. Let me start over. Let All me right, go ahead. <laughs> so, until the next podcast, until the next film, until the next creative project, we're trying to make geeks out of you. Have a good day.